The Guardian Shield Enforcement Pack is a super useful module if you want an easy way to increase your shield hit points. But they do require a bit to unlock, so today I'm going to show you the easiest and simplest way to do so. Today's video is brought to you by Rich Wallet. Rich create modern compact wallets made from premium materials like titanium, carbon fiber or aluminum. In fact, Rich is so confident in the product that they offer you a 45 day test drive with a full refund if you don't like it. But why wouldn't you like them? The wallets are easily half the size of a traditional wallet, but despite that they can still hold up to 12 cards and has a money clip on the side. All the wallets also come with RFID blocking to prevent digital theft. So check out Rich Wallet on rich.com forward slash D2EA and use offer code D2EA to get 10% off. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. So today we're going to talk about Guardian Shield Reinforcement Packs. Very straight up module, it's a single unlock, so you unlock it once, you can buy as many as you want, all the sizes you want. And they take a bit of power, go into your optional internals and just give you a flat bonus to hit points. But first, let's take a look at what it requires to unlock these modules. You head over to the Commander's Toolbox, to which there will be a link in the description, and go to Guides and Guardian Modules. There is a handy drop down here at the top, where we can see all the different Guardian modules you can unlock, and today we're going to be looking at the Shield Enforcement Packs. We get a list of the materials we need. You can read this article here if you want more details, you can see all the different bases where you can get them if you're interested, but I'm going to walk you through all of it today. So we can see here we need a number of different Guardian uh, module and then a commodity we can buy off, um, off the station. And the first place we're going to go is going to be Sunofe NL-N space C23-4 and in this system we're going to be heading right here to planet B3. This planet will give you four of the five materials you need. So this is a really good one-stop location for a lot of the materials. Only downside is, as you can see, it's quite a bit of way outside, like 800 light years outside the bubble. Once you arrive at the planet, map it, and you will see a guardian structure and three ancient ruins. We're going to start at the guardian structure as our first stop. The area around it, as you can see here, is a little rugged, so it can be difficult to find a good parking spot, but if you just hover just over the, the, uh, the surface, you will find one eventually. So before we begin to drive into the main part of the base, what I recommend you do is you head into the third person camera and just get yourself a good top down view of the base to make yourself familiar with the layout of the base. And then head back to Commander's Toolbox where you will see there is a handy top down map where you can see all the different pylons, towers and everything. If we open this up, we can again see the layout here and what we need to do is we need to activate the altar because that's where we get our module blueprints. But as we're doing so, you will also see scattered around it, we have these green material towers. I put on the map here what materials the different components give and these towers will have three panels. So here we can see top panel here gives power conduit, middle panel gives cells and the lower panel also give power cells. Remember that we need power cells and we need technology components. So as you're driving around the base, do go to these towers, pick up your power cells, pick up your technology components. I'll show them here in a second as we drive around. Also, you can see these triangular um, obelisk data. Um, you can scan these as well. These will give you the obelisk data. And there's a chance, it's not guaranteed every time, but there's a chance you will get the delta data. So you might get some of it. We're going to go to a separate location later in case you're not getting the data because this is not the most effective place to get it. But the first thing we need to do is we need to run around and we need to go to all these blue markers here to activate these pylons because before we activate the pylons, we can't go and activate the actual altar. Also for the altar, we're going to need a guardian relic, which you can see you can get from the towers marked here with the pointing down triangles. So I know there's a lot to take in, but I'm just going to take you on a quick tour around the base so we can break it all down. I should probably say there will also be guardian sentinels spawning uh, around the base and you will have to deal with those so be careful and that's why it can also be a good idea to fit stuff like a uh, um, point defense on top of your ship because they can take care of some of the missiles and stuff like that so you hear that rumbling and you see this tower coming out here in front of me that is one of the relics it's coming up right here you can see the lighting beam there in the middle and here you have the tower. That's one of the relic towers. They will pop up as you drive close. All you have to do in order to get the relic, which you can see up here at the top, is to head out into your turret, target it, shoot off the top, open your cargo hatch, and just drive over it. There we go. Now we have a relic. You just need one. And we can now continue around the base. 
Okay, so to get this little event started, I moved up to the altar, and we can see that spawned even more sentinels, and we also spawned the two first pylons. So I'm just gonna go quickly take care of the sentinels. Here's a little trick. Sometimes if you can only see part of a sentinel, just do not target it and may aim at it manually. You can often snipe these at range without them doing anything to you at all. So we're up here at the altar, it's right here in front of us, and we have the first pylon here. We're gonna again just shoot the orb there in the middle. It's gonna charge up the pylon until we have it fully charged. You can see the timer on screen. Every time you charge up, you're gonna get more time. So now I'm just gonna drive around to each location on the map where there's supposed to be a pylon. And as I get close, as you can see here, they come out of the ground and I can shoot them to activate them. Now while we're driving around, let me just quickly show you what these um, data obelisks look like so you know what you're looking for. You can see these triangular, they're relatively short um, triangular structures here. As you drive up to some of them, you will notice that on the side they will have these panels that light up. You can target those and then you can use the scanner to scan them. And when you do so, you will get obelisk data. As I said, there's a chance between, I think, four different this time around, I did actually get Delta data, which is what we're looking for, but it may be uh, one of the different other types of data you can get. The material towers that are marked are these like uh, tilting towers that comes out of the ground. You will see these panels on them. Shoot the panels and out comes material. In this case here, we got a power cell. Shoot the panel up there. We got a power conduit and there's another one. And you can see what I mean about the lower, the middle and the upper panel as marked on the map. So drive around to those, shoot out the panels and you get those material. As you can also see on the map right here, just give you a quick overview of the base. There we have the elder up here. You can see I've been driving around and I'm activating most of them, just need one more. There's this little building here and there's this little glowing panel on the, uh, on the side of the building there. If you take and you shoot that, it's also marked on the map. There will be another guardian technology component. Once you activate the last pylon, a bunch of more sentinels will spawn. So just drive around, deal with them one at a time. Okay, finally, we have all pylons activated. We dealt with all the sentinels. And you will see as you drive up here, you'll see that the altar is now active. You need to park your SRV so that it's pretty much over this central little triangular hole. Let me show you, you can see here, if you go out to the external camera, you can see this little triangular hole there, it lights up. Kind of put your SRV in the middle so that it kind of is in like in between the two middle wheels there. That's a pretty good position to be in. And then we're gonna go into our inventory and we're gonna remember that guardian relic we picked up earlier. We're gonna go and we're gonna jettison it. Doing so will activate the altar as you can see here and out of the altar will a beautiful orb. In turret mode, you can target the orb and give it a good scan and this is going to give you your module blueprint. Luckily, you only need one of these. It will also spawn even more sentinels, so back to shooting. Now, once you're done, you got your blueprint. You can head over here and you can check in your materials tab. We can go down to all the guardian components and just check if you have the required power cells as well as technology components. And if you head over to the data section, you should First of all, be able to make sure that you have your Guardian Module Blueprint segment. And also go down and check if you have your Pattern Obelisk data. You can see here we need the Delta, but you can also get Alpha, Beta and Epsilon data. Now, if you do not have the power cells and the technology components that you need, all you do is just log out, log back in while you're in this space and do another run. You don't have to activate all the pylons again. You just have to go around to the green towers we looked at at the map and shoot off the panels to get the components. You only need to activate the pylons once to get the blueprint. Once you have the blueprint, you don't need to do it again. So just walk around, run around the base. Two trips should be enough to give you all the components you need. If you need more data, we're going to go to a different location. And that is the ancient ruin number two. So here we have it. But why this space in particular, you ask? Well, because if you take a look at it here from a top-down view, you will see like a... Um, a little like depression here in the middle with like a like a little cliff out just behind that little cliff there in the middle there is a whole bunch of these pylons right down here in uh, and this plateau here they're scattered around on the different plateaus you can see around it but you need to look at the one right behind it this one is good because right next to it on that platform there it's nice it's flat 
and it will accept relatively large ships. You can even land a crate there. I don't, eh, and the corners might be a squeeze, but most ships you can just land on that flat ground right there, so you're not going to have a hard time landing. So why is this spot in particular so good? Well, as you can see here, if you drive up to him, we have no less than three of these active pylons very, very close to each other. And that means what you can do is you can sit here, go into the turret, you can scan them through the structure, you don't have to be in the right side, so you scan one, turn the turret, scan the next, and then finally you might have to reverse up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And you can then scan the third. There are no sentinel spawning here, so there's nothing that's gonna come and shoot on you and try to kill you. Once you scanned all three, all you do is you go escape, to main menu, lock back in, jump back into the turret, and you do it all again, and again, and again, until you have all the data. So if we head back to the commander's toolbox, we can now see we dealt with the Guardian module blueprint, we got that from the altar. The power cells and the technology com components, we got those from the towers. And the Pathom Obelisk data, we either got those from the, um, the obelisks at the first site, or we got it from the ruin where we are at now. So the only thing we need is the hardware diagnostic sensors. This is a commodity, and that means we can just buy it off the market. Now the easiest way to do that, I think, is using EDDB. I'm going to link to it in the description. Here we're going to go to Commodities, and then I like to just do a free text search for it. There we have it, Hardware Diagnostic Sensors. And you can see here, find closest station to buy or sell. So we're just going to type in our system name, and it gives us three stations. We can see they're all these 800 light years because they're back in the bubble, of course. But we, here we have three stations. We can see there are plenty of supply. So all you need to do now is just to go to either of these three stations and buy your eight um, hardware diagnostic component. To find a place to unlock, we're going to head to inara.cz. Link will once again be in the description. And we're going to go up here in the top menu. I'm going to head to data. We should already be on the nearest uh, tool here over on the left-hand side. And it should be on station. We can uh, type in our current system like so. And we're going to go down here to station services and find a technology broker right there and click search. We get a list of stations and this is what people always get wrong. They just go to any of these stations and then they can't find the module on the unlock. And that's because they've gone to a human tech broker. There are two different types. There are human and guardian. You need to find a guardian tech broker, not a human. So pay attention to this type out here and go to any of the guardian tech brokers. And just like the TV kitchen, I just quickly jumped over on one of my other commanders, which I had conveniently already placed at a station with a Guardian Tech Broker. So once you have all your modules, you're going to head to any of these stations, you're going to head into Contacts, and here you will see a Technology Broker. And on this list, you can now go and you can find, there we have the Shield Reinforcements. Of course, I have not picked up all the modules on this character, but as you can see here, you have the list and you'll be able to unlock it. Once you unlock it, you just need to find a station that sells the components, you can do this on EDDB as well by going into stations and in here it gives the station sells modules and then you want a guardian shield reinforcements and here you go you can pick whatever size you need let's say i wanted a 5d for instance i can just go search and it will give me stations where i can buy guardian 5d shield reinforcement packs so very easy way this is not always a hundred percent um accurate but in most cases i found this to be reliable before we end, I would just ask you to go down and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, if you want more Elite Dangerous guides, tutorials, then this is the place to be. Also, give the video a like. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.